you can legally get your gun permit and conceal your firearm and have not yet done so, well that's what this video is all about. Shame on you. We need you. I'm recruiting everybody in America and across the world who can legally obtain a gun permit to conceal. Now I know of course all states change with their laws from state to state, but whether you gotta wait a month, six months, or five years, apply now because everything's about to change whether we like it or not. Let's talk about getting your gun permit now and then what to do once you get it. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. Get your permit now. That's what this is all about. If you live in the United States of America or, or anywhere across the world where you can legally get your gun permit, now is the time to do it. Are the laws about to change? Yes, I'm afraid so. After the Colorado shooting, and we see what's going on with the media, they're blaming it on video games and all this hideous stuff and the movies being too atrocious. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Right now is the time to get your gun permit. So please pass this video on to your family and friends who do not have their permit, but they're legally able to do so. You're in a state where you can do it. You gotta go do it. Now, the UN Arms Trade Treaty is about to be signed in two days from the timing of this video, July 25th. Today happens to be my birthday. Cool, all right, no big deal. Now, July 27th, this gets signed. We know it's going to happen on the opening day of the Olympics. Well, is that a coincidence? I don't think so. You think the government did this purposely to sign this arms trade treaty, a worldwide ban on arms being traded across borders? I don't think that's a coincidence. On the day, opening day of the Olympics, what's the media going to be focused on? All right, so now we have the shooting in the theaters, then we have the UN treaty being signed, and then we have a presidential election. Now let's be realistic. I'm not gonna tell you who to vote for or what side I'm on. That's up to you. We're all Americans, we can all have our opinion. That's up to you. But if, if the Obama administration wins and this UN treaty is going to be signed on July 27th. What's going to happen is they're not going to put it up for a vote. It's not going to go to ratification, which means if two-thirds of the Senate approves the UN arms trade treaty, it becomes law. The, the, the Obama administration, if they won the election, they're like, that's just ignored that I ever signed it. Because then he's got four and a half years to change gun laws. And if you don't think that getting your gun permit is going to be more difficult in the future, I disagree. I say you're wrong. I think what they're going to do is go after your medical records first. And they're going to make you register every gun you have. Let's talk about medical records here. Hmm. What if uh, the government comes out with a list of a thousand medications that if you were ever prescribed in your lifetime, no gun for you. No knife for you. No spider co civilian for you. Maybe, who knows what? Maybe not even a Phoenix flashlight where you can, you know, crack a skull with. Who knows what? What I'm trying to say is you got to get your gun permit now. Let me know your thoughts on this because the laws are changing. Due to the Vienna Convention, it's pretty serious, this UN Arms Trade Treaty. It's really serious. And due to the fact that this shooting just took place in this movie theater, and who knows what's going on with that whole mess and how that's going to unfold, it's not good. Get your gun permit now. 
If you can, whether it takes a month, six months, or two years, get your application in and apply. Please pass this video on to a friend. Let me know if I made an impact on you to get your gun permit. And when you get your gun permit, there's three things you want to carry when you get it. You want to carry your gun. You want to carry your blade. This just happens to be, like I said, a, a spider co civilian. Look how wicked that is. And you want to carry a flashlight so you can see 30, 40, 50 yards out in the dark, like heavens have been in that movie theater. A buddy of mine got his permit today. He called me about an hour ago before this video and he goes, Whew, I, I got my permit and, and I was carrying my gun because this is what you're going to go through the feelings when you first get your permit and you carry a gun for the first time. He says, oh, wow, wow, I was sweating and my hands were sweating and I kept looking to see if I was printing and he goes, but I got through the day, I got through the day, but I, I think I'm a better person. So getting your gun permit's one thing. It's going to make you a better person. It's going to make you more aware of your surroundings, but also you also need to get training. Please, please, please get your gun permits so that you're a law-abiding citizen, you got your permit, your license, and all your documents, and you're perfectly clean, and you're good to go, but make sure you get trained. Spend a couple bucks, and, and then go to the range regularly. I know it's pricey, but just go to the range and shoot some, even 22s, just to get acclimated with shooting a firearm because it's not as easy as you think. Carrying a gun does not make you a superhero. It does not make us Rambos. It just hopefully, hopefully, like I said with my friend who just got his permit, makes you look around, makes you more level-headed, and makes you think about your surroundings, and we have to protect other lives along with our lives. This whole video is focused on Get your gun permit now because the government's going to change gun laws. The states are going to change gun laws. I hope not. I'm going to throw the NRA link, but I just thought of this. I'm throwing the NRA link below this because without the NRA, we have nothing. You save 10 bucks, by the way, if you go through my link, plus you're supporting the channel, and kudos to all of us. Please join the NRA. If you own a gun and you don't own an NRA, if you get your permit and... There's, there's a couple things you need to do when you get your permit. You get your, you get your gun, you get your ammo, you get your holster, and you get your NRA membership. So below is the link for the NRA, save $10. Go through my, my, my website there and, and, and do it. But more importantly, just please get your concealed weapons permit. Please do it now. Please share this with your spouse, your friends, your loved ones. Please, we need more people on the streets with permits. Let me know what you think, throw your comments in, and let's start a big chat room on this. Should we get our permits or should we be lackadaisical? Get our permits now, that's what I say. Thank you so much. Check it out.